What's going on Gas Gang? Today we are back with an absolutely epic video. Just look behind me. We are back at TX2K in Texas and we are following one of, if not, the fastest crazy street GTRs in the world right now. The T1R built Nissan GTR. Guys, stay tuned for this one. It's going to be sick. Let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. So yes guys, as the intro said, today we are back down in Texas at TX2K with the boys from T1R and we are following the journey of Billy's, AKA Ricky Bobby's Nissan GTR. Now this car is possibly, if not the fastest streetable GTR, street GTR in the world right now. They've made it through the first round of, uh, in fact, they've made it through qualifying. They qualified at 221 mile an hour, which was the fastest, so they qualified first. Uh, so they are in the Elite Eight. They qualified first in the Elite Eight, the fastest of every car here, or the fastest group of every car here at TX2K, and believe me, that is absolute madness. So we join them at eliminations, three rounds of eliminations, quarterfinals, semifinals, finals. Um, and I think this year, they're really, really gonna put on a show. So we're gonna be following them. Uh, we'll have a chat to Terence, who's one of the techs down here at T1R, and also the guy who's driving Billy's car. And um, yeah, take it from there. Terence, welcome back to the channel, yes, brother. Good hey, to be it's, back. it's been a year. It's yeah. been a year since uh, we made our last video on the same car, Billy's car, right? Yes, sir. You talked us through the, the, the engine spec of this car last year. Um, am I led to believe anything's changed? And if so, what's changed? Um, so this is actually like the same engine, same turbos, everything that we ran last year. Okay. So uh, just last year we had a few issues with it, and that's that's why we, we didn't quite get a good pass. Got you. Um, and uh, that, that two, 220 something or 230 something we put up was just something we can just get down the track yeah, just yeah. to show that we had something yeah and uh so you know now we're finally getting to the potential of the car we had another year to work it out and yeah and, whatnot, and it's so. good it's good yes exactly this car is billet and full billet engine right no so, so it's stock cast heads but it's a billet block okay billet yes. block. Yep. Billet block. A billet okay. block 4.3 with yep. uh garrett 80 millimeters on it got you got you yeah and what kind of boost are we running what kind of power are we making this year so so it's running about 90 pounds of boost uh <laughs> and it makes Motec calculated 3,500. So, at the wheel, 3,500 at yes, the wheel. Yes, at the wheel. <laughs> so, like on the dyno, we, we did a dyno pull on it before we came out here because it's a fresh engine, and at 60 pounds, it's making 2,500. So then we just load it up and, you know, whatever, it'll make about 90 pounds down the track. Got ya. So, man, it's been a crazy day, a uh, bunch of ups and downs. Uh, so, first round, uh, pulled a Dallas Performance uh, Lamborghini. Um, I know that car makes a lot of power, and, and they, I know they spent all night putting a 400 shot on it <laughs> because I knew they were out of power. Uh, those are good friends of mine over there. Got ya. And so they, they came out, and um, first pass, uh, man, he got way out on me. But uh, luckily, I think he made a little mistake and mm -hmm. drove right around him, and it went... Uh, what did we do on that one? Uh, so like 228 or something? I, I don't remember. Yeah, it There's was, been some crazy numbers being yeah, thrown No, around. it was 230. I'll cut to a clip of it. We'll find yeah, out. Yeah, we'll yeah. find out. We'll find out. I don't even remember what we did first round. Yeah, so. no worries, no worries.
long, but I feel like the Lambo jumped too, and he got ran down and passed 232. waiting after the crash um, it's evident already for you guys to see how things can go wrong very all quickly. drivers in the safety lane suit up please looks like we're going all again, drivers um, in the safety lane suit wrong? up like this is your first kind of experience I mean, all drivers in the safety lane, lane suit up please got, uh, a car that's probably worth more than 500,000 English pounds mm. um, gone it doesn't even feel real bro it's weird isn't it I was filming it bro when it happened it was like is this f***ing happening yeah 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 it's yeah. crazy So we had an easy easy pass there, um, then a little bit of a delay for a little bit, but uh, came back out second round, drew the uh, underground racing STO, which is the, the race we wanted last year. That's right. So uh, that was last year's winner, mm -hmm. um, and man, uh, first hit, he uh, he was way out ahead of me, and uh, we just couldn't get it lined up, so yeah. we brought him back, immediately lined back up, and uh, we got with our program, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, he got the hit on me, but man, just you luckily I drove down, right back around him. <laughs> Ran him down once again. That was absolutely is crazy. The fastest pass ever in the road race history. And Billy and T1 race did it with 250 less feet. So, so on that one we went uh, 237, he went 227. Uh -huh. uh, we put 10 mile an hour on him and that's exactly what we came out here to do. So Amazing. that's, so I mean everything was stoked and after yeah. that it was an easy day, you know. Yeah. So the, in the finals we raced uh, uh, another oh, T1 R8, the, yeah. the one in the trailer up here. Yeah. Um, and uh, honestly, both cars are a little bit hurt, so we just kind of yeah, we sense. just kind of coasted it down yeah, the track. Yeah, yeah, and for real, for real. He, he was stoked that he even made it to the lead eight, so yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that was his big goal. So.
an amazing uh, journey and also the what uh, sorry the 237 the fastest anyone has ever run here at TX2K over the rolling um, yes. uh, races and also with a track that's 250 foot shorter. Am yes, I right exactly. To say? Yeah, so they shorten the track and we're still we're still putting up big mile an hour. Mate. And that and the, and I knew it would happen. So years ago there used to be a race called uh, Texas Invitational. Got you. And uh, we had a shop car that had almost the same setup on it Got you. and uh, when we put it on there we came out there and before you know we were even with underground and once we put this setup on there immediately 15 mile an hour on them wow. I mean that's just the putting these big turbos up front they uh, they just it's worked well, it just right? it works so yeah, well yeah, yeah. and you know and that's exactly I knew once we put together an A to B pass against them we were gonna we we're gonna put 10 15 yeah, on them yeah, again yeah. you know yeah, and yeah. that's that's just all there is to it, it, it it's we're making so much power and we can put it down the whole track. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Well, listen, brother, thank you for the time. Yes. Thank you for putting on such a show. Yes. A massive shout out to T1R as ever. And yes. um, bro, congratulations once thank again. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming and covering this for us. My pleasure, bro. Nice yes. Bro.